Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. Today we are sponsored by Lowe's. We're on location at a Lowe's in Framingham, Massachusetts. And what I want to do today is walk you through some of the different products for the garden. Let's start with topsoil. It's probably the most basic thing you're going to find in the soil aisle. There'll usually be at least two brands of it. The difference tends to be the quality. So if I'm filling a hole and I'm not really trying to grow things in that particular area, I might add a few bags of the least expensive topsoil and then top that, no pun intended, with the more expensive topsoil. Topsoil generally doesn't have a lot of organic matter in it, so you could add something like composted or dehydrated manure, or you can move on to the garden soils. You want to plant a tree or a shrub, you go to the tree and shrub garden soil. Now, what you don't want to do is go home and open up this bag, dig a hole, and put this soil in that hole, and then put your tree or your shrub into that soil only. It needs to be mixed in with your existing soil. You want to create that mixture so that the roots don't have a shock going from the bag soil into your native soil. The past few years have seen the development of soil specifically for lawn repair, overseeding, or sod. And I really like these soils a lot. I think they work great. Looking down at all the different bags of soils, you'll notice that there's some subtle differences between them. First of all, you'll notice that some are made specifically for organic gardening. If you're someone that's growing organically, definitely use those soils. Some of the soils are going to say not for use in containers. That's because they just get too heavy. So if you want to grow in containers, make sure you're using a container soil or a potting soil. They tend to be lighter. Most of these soils should be mixed in with your native garden soil if you are working directly in the garden follow the directions on the back of the bags. We've talked a lot about soil, now let's talk about fertilizer. When you head into the fertilizer aisle, you'll basically see two groups of fertilizers, two camps. One is liquid and one is granular. Let's talk about the granular first. When you look at bags of fertilizers, you're gonna see three numbers. They represent the available nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. It's really important to keep in mind that different plants will use different amounts of those nutrients. On some of the fertilizers, you'll see something that says OMRI, it's OMRI, and if it's OMRI approved, it's suitable for organic gardening. One of my favorite types of fertilizers for indoor house plants are those time-release fertilizers. You put them in, you leave them for three or four months, and then you forget about it. Just mark on your calendar when it's time to fertilize again. Not only do I use granular fertilizer, but I also fertilize many of my plants with liquid fertilizer. Some of my vegetables I'll fertilize every couple of weeks. Some of my house plants I'll fertilize only once a month. One of my favorite liquid fertilizers are the fish emulsion fertilizers like this particular brand. I like these fish emulsion products, vegetables especially, do really well when you use them. Fertilizers made specifically for plants that want to bloom a lot will have a high middle number, so a lot of phosphorus. Fertilizer, especially the phosphorus, is not great for our rivers, streams, lakes, or any other body of water. So when you use these, I always recommend don't use them when it's going to rain heavily and only use what you really need. More fertilizer is not necessarily better for the plants or the environment. Some things to look at on those bags of fertilizers. Organic source of nitrogen, time release or slow release. They tend to be better for the plants. Those things that say rapid green up or fast acting aren't necessarily good for the plant in the long term. Soil and fertilizer. Both are incredibly important for healthy plants, and by selecting the right version of both, your plants will thrive. For Growing Wisdom, sponsored by Lowe's, I'm Dave Epstein.